Hi there, I'm Dana with WholeHealthDana.com and today I'm going to show you how to make your own wool dryer balls. So if you've never heard of a wool dryer ball, um, they're about the size of a tennis ball and they're made out of wool yarn. Um, what you do with these is you put them in your dryer with your wet clothes and turn it on and um, you use them to help your clothes dry faster um, without um, any static electricity and it helps soften them so um, that's really why you want to use these there's no chemicals in them and they're going to save you money um, I can't really give you any scientific reason for it all I can tell you is that it has cut my drying time in half now I have a very uneconomical um, stackable washer and dryer that you typically see in a condominium or an apartment and um, they aren't very energy efficient to begin with. Uh, before making these balls, I would have to set my drying time, it goes to 100. I would have to do it two times, so 200 minutes, in order to dry an average load of towels, jeans. Uh, I now set it for 100 minutes and everything is just about always dry. Sometimes I'll have like a large load of towels, um, stuff with um, extra heavier fabric that might maybe go 120 minutes, but it saved me a tremendous amount of time and also electricity. Um, also saves money if you like to use um, dryer sheets uh, because you don't have to purchase them, you know, box after box. You're not putting any chemicals on your clothing that is later going to be touching and rubbing into your skin. You've got the upfront cost of buying a um, um, a package of wool um, wool yarn. This one has 465 yards. I get four the size of a tennis ball or if I make them slightly smaller I can get five of them. Um, I've heard, although I have not tried it, that the larger you make the balls um, that they even work better. So if you wanted to make one up to the size of like a softball um, I guess you can really um, um, increase your or decrease I'm sorry your drying time but I haven't tried it um, so you're gonna want to look for um, a color that is not going to bleed so don't buy a bright red and think that it's really pretty because um, you could end up with some um, damaged clothing and, and regret um, now you want to make sure that you get 100% wool. You don't want anything that says it's um, super wash or machine washable because it's not going to felt and stay together. So to get started, what you're going to need is a um, roll of yarn. You're going to need a pair of pantyhose, knee highs, a pair of tights, something like that. We're going to use this later on. I'll show you how. Um, and a pair of scissors. Um, so first off, what you're going to do is grab your yarn, and you're going to make two fingers together. And you're just going to wrap it around your finger, um, I'd say about ten times. So after you've done that, you're just going to pull it off your finger. Try not to wrap it too tight, you'll have trouble getting it off. Um, and you're just going to start to wrap the yarn into a ball. So you're going to go the opposite direction of what you have already wrapped. Um, so you're going to have something that starts out looking like this, almost like a, like a little bow. You get enough on it, um, you're going to be able to kind of, I don't know if you can see this, but kind of start to wrap that end over to the other one but basically you're just wrapping until you um, make something that resembles a ball. Um, it doesn't have to look pretty. Um, it's going to eventually start to come together um, as the ball starts to get bigger and you'll start to fill in the spots if it looks like one side is getting um, more full or more round than another side you're just gonna twist your yarn in another direction and um, form your um, complete ball. Okay, so you're going to keep wrapping it around until you get a ball that looks like this. And this is about the size of the other ones that I've made. Um, so if I made them all this size, I would expect them to make about five of them uh, from this um, um, roll of yarn that I have. So what I do is when I get to about the end where I'm about ready to tie it off, I will take, um, I don't know, this is two or three probably about two feet or so, maybe a little less of yarn, and I'm going to cut it off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around these two fingers. So I have it sitting right here, and I'm going to wrap my yarn around it so there's give in it. So if you see that, 
Um, I'm going to hold it down with my thumb on the other side and I'm going to pull this leftover yarn and I'm going to pull it through that gap and then I'm going to take my fingers out and tighten it up. And I'm going to do that several times um, just so that I can pull, keep pulling the yarn through so it's not going to be um, hanging loose at some point. And then when I get to the end, um, I've kind of got, like this is what I've got because I've pulled it through a couple of times. I'm just going to wrap it around um, like that one last time and I'm just going to pull it through some of these little strings in here. So I'm just going to pull one up a little bit and just kind of start wrapping it through um, until there's just not um, any string hanging out. And I'm not too concerned about um, if there's a little piece that's hanging out because our next step is to um, when we finish it off we're going to felt these so that um, all of the uh, um, the yarn is kind of matted together. Um, so I've got it kind of already pulled through. There's a little bit of overhang right there you can see coming out, but um, like I said, it's all gonna felt together and it's not gonna matter. So um, these are just like little trouser socks. You can use a pair of pantyhose if you've got tights. You're just going to take yours and put them in, you know, put one in, tie it off, and put in another one, tie it off in between it so that you've got three of them and then they're separate. Um, and this is pretty um, important process so for probably the next three possibly four loads of laundry that you do um, what you're gonna do is throw this in the wash so whatever you're washing hot cold it doesn't matter throw it in um, throw it into the dryer and let it dry with the rest of your clothes and when they're done they're going to be um, they're gonna be all uh, felted together so you can see that this one looks the same but those little threads they don't come and pull apart because they're all matted together now I like to put essential oils on mine so usually before I throw my wet clothes in these are all just sitting on the bottom of my dryer um, and I just take my little bottle of um, essential oil whatever scent I'm using and just put a couple drops on each one before I um, uh, throw it in there. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, make yourself some dryer balls and let me know what you think.